Hi, Aries. Welcome to your January 2016 love reading. It's Raina here. I can't believe that it's going to be a new year. I'm recording this in December. So there you are. I picked six cards for you. And the first card I picked is from the recent past. So what you had been working through to bring you to this point. And it was the high priestess in reverse. And this doesn't really surprise me that much since I'm doing a reading for Aries, because the high priestess in reverse, I would say, is not listening to your inner voice. And sometimes Aries is so enthusiastic, so impulsive, that you guys jump into things like relationships and then live to regret it. And it's all about cultivating patience because when you feel so much like you want to do something right away, it can be okay in certain circumstances, but in personal relationships, it can really mess things up because that person becomes intimately connected with you in many different ways. And it's much better to do things gradually. At least that's my opinion. But I know that you guys really enjoy taking risks. You're just very passionate about life and you leap sometimes before you look. And that sounds like what, what happened. And so you may have gotten involved with the wrong person and you're reeling from that. You're recovering from that. The card that I got for you right now is the Ace of Cups. And it's funny because Capricorn was the first reading I did and I picked that card for them as well in the same position. So both of you are cardinal signs and I wonder if there's something in the water. I know that in January during the sign of Capricorn, um, maybe all the cardinal signs will be activated and we'll all be having love affairs, hopefully. But yeah, this is the beginnings of some type of relationship. Some of you may already have started this relationship. And this card is just reflecting that as well. Of course, this is a general reading, as you well know. And it may not apply to you, this card, or some of the other ones. If you would like a personalized reading using your own astrological data, just click on the link below. But in any case, that's a wonderful card of love because the cups relate to emotions. The higher perspective or message from the universe card is the wheel of fortune. And I think what this card is telling you, Aries, is that if you were just pulling your hair out saying, when am I going to have the love of my life come in? Maybe this is the time because that Ace of Cups is right before the Wheel of Fortune. So it seems to be showing a shift in your fortunes and for the better. And with the High Priestess in reverse, you may have felt like you were in this cycle that was a negative one and kind of spiraling downwards. And now the wheel has turned and now it's in your favor. So that's a really great message to keep in mind from a higher perspective of the way that life works. The advice card is the King of Wands. Wands are fire signs. Kings are those who are in control, who are very steady, reliable, respected. So I think that this energy is just about using that power that you have naturally, not only as a cardinal sign, but as someone ruled by Mars, which is the god of war. You know, Aries can be fearless in life, and they really are dynamic people. The only thing that they have to worry about is the tendency to go off into the negative manifestation where there are temper tantrums and there are 
bullying tactics, trying to exert your will, authority over others. The king of wands is a benevolent leader. So you definitely, as an Aries, have this kind of take charge attitude, this leadership ability, but you have to use it correctly and not abuse it. And so it's all about owning your power in the best possible way. In relationships, it would mean that you present yourself strongly, but not arrogantly and not rigidly that you cannot um, be cooperative with a partner or understanding of a partner. You have to give and take, you know, that's a very important thing. But on the other hand, you have to also be strong, which you naturally are in that positive sense of the word. The possible obstacle facing you is the emperor. This is another major arcana, and it's just what I was talking about. It can be rigidity, needing to have utter control over the situation. Funny, the emperor is associated with Aries. So there you go. But it's a law and order card. And in relationships, you can't really pull that crap with people. You have to be flexible and you have to be generous of spirit. I'm not talking about generous with money because Aries are very generous, generous to a fault, but in terms of your emotional self, not being dictatorial, being cooperative, able to do what the other person wants to do, not having to have your own way all the time. And the emperor is really the person who is barking out these orders. So it's something to watch out for. Once again, it's kind of reiterating this. But the outcome is a 10 of cups. The cups, the emotions, sense of joy, optimism. It can relate to family, but in this context, it's just about celebration. Having trust, tranquility, spiritual happiness. It's giving love and receiving love. And it's just a wonderful outcome for you, Aries. And I wish that for you. And again, if you'd like a personal reading, just click on the link below. Have a wonderful, love-filled January. Bye.